Good evening to you from West London. We're at Stamford Bridge, the home of Chelsea, as they prepare to host Liverpool in the knockout stages of the Champions League. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. Well, sometimes players, Derek, look at the Champions League. It's a little break from the Premier League, different opposition to play against. Not the case tonight. Chelsea at home, Liverpool playing against their Premier League rivals. And, of course, this evokes memories of 2005, a semi-final and the ghost goal. Number seven, Engolo Kante. And Chelsea, no strangers to Champions League semi-finals. I say that because they reached this stage five years out of six between 2004 and 2009 league. Yeah, absolutely. And when you're playing in the semi-finals as a player, you do all that preparation looking forward to the game. As soon as the game starts, you want it to be over. You're so anxious because you know what's around the corner if you were to win. You kind of just want it over and done with in the final, and then you can enjoy yourself. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Kepa is given the green light in goal. Aspili Quetta starts with Emerson in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And he's through. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Liverpool throw in here. Wijnaldum. Uh, a lovely ball Liverpool obsessed with finding a forward gear now what can they do from this position and a half-baked clearance a case of foiling the opposition by whatever means well he couldn't quite keep the header down well it was the pace on the cross sometimes with that much power on the cross just cushion it otherwise it goes over Fabinho now, Wijnaldum, Firmino, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. I'm not afraid to have a go from long range. The goalkeepers have to be mindful that long shots like that can come in. Yeah, I always look at goalies and say, do your job, keep the ball out the net. Good job we didn't let that one in. The Chelsea move still flowing, advantage to them. Couldn't keep it. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. A real opening now. Very much a run of the mill as saves go. Liverpool have given it away. Jorginho. Pulisic now. Firing it in. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Played into the centre of the box. Clever defensive play, Christensen. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Conte now. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Milner well, that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick Virgil van Dijk well Liverpool the record winners of the European Cup of Champions League amongst English sides and it's always something magical when they take part in this competition well, it's such rich history at this football club. Right through the players, the staff, but even more so with the spectators. They expect Liverpool to go deep in this competition. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And a throw-in forthcoming. Yeah. 
giving them a different option by moving in field. Wijnaldum, Fabinho, easy save. Wijnaldum. Firmino. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Can they hit on the break? Tammy Abraham. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Now Mo Salah. Well, visionary passing. Firmino. And he's made headway. Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Number nine, Roberto Firmino. And the first 45 minutes have come. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Jorginho. Aspiliqueta. And fed forwards. And it's with Pedro. Can he open them up? Are well, they going to forge ahead? shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper was it no but he picked up the flight nice and early not much defensive cover there on the flank Fabinho that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack cleared away comprehensively a chance to whip it in Fabinho and here's Milner Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, it's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? Conte. Aspili Quetta. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? And he did what he had to do defensively. Given away. It is now with Jorginho. Jorginho! It's got to be! And that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. delivery from Pedro well it has come to nothing what can he do from here can't miss surely might still be able to do a bit of damage and the keeper has custody of the ball but just a few seconds beforehand he had a big save to make well keep hold of it have a breather because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap Liverpool obsessed with finding a forward gear and what can they do from this position Pedro now with Ross Barkley, Jorginho, Conte, Jorginho, Pedro, so 20, might be able to set up the chance, can they get in behind them, that's an effective cross, aimed at the back first, Aspiliqueta, on the ball, Aspiliqueta, substitution time is it. Substitution is. for Liverpool, coming off the pitch, number seven, James Warner. To be replaced by number 15. Sadio Mane now. Aspili Quetta. Jorginho. Conte. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it. But offside by a hair. Yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Mane. Now, what can Liverpool do with this advantageous situation? Box 
Oxlade-Chamberlain. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Chelsea, it's nearly desperation stakes for them to get this winner. The crowd are urging them on. Jorginho. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Here's Christensen. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. He takes aim. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Henderson. Matip now. And it's a case of just five minutes left. They've given it away. Mane, a good and fair challenge. The referee, the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Pedro. And that is that. The referee blows for full time. So many people thought this would be a very tight, tense contest. And Leedix, and that's exactly how things turned out. Well, Derek, we're expecting a tight first leg, and that's exactly what we got. Nobody wants to make a mistake. You don't want to be a villain. But in the second leg, you need heroes. There's a final just around the corner. Can anyone be that hero?